Hi everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a targeted individual. I've been used for human experimentation, MK Ultra style, mind control, covert drugging, more gallons, uh, have a high pitched, high frequency, ringing in my ears, remote neural monitoring and connectivity, uh, basically tortured electromagnetically all the time. Um, I just got off the phone with a nice guy who's another targeted individual who's suffering horribly and you know we talk about among other things why why how could people be so evil and you know how can they be <laughs> using the final solution on us again and we're like can't do anything about it because A, most people don't believe it's even happening and B, most people don't even believe it's happening and C, <laughs> you know, the powers that be have been co-opted and corrupted and you know, they squeeze the economy so tight that you're afraid you're going to lose your house and your job and your car and, like, you know, you don't have time to worry about mind control and, and evil Illuminati taking over the world and ruling through vibrations of fear and, you know, but, man, it's just difficult for me to comprehend how people could be so evil, really, you know, I look around the world, and I look at these things that I see, and I know that some of them are just there to, to, you know, scare you and show you how screwed up the world is, but you realize that, you know, this is our doing, you know, this is mankind's doing, and, and, where are we going with this, you know? Are they really going to depopulate the planet? Are they really going to break the food chain with genetically modified organisms? You know, is there some horrible thing going on that we don't know about because they don't want to tell us? You know, we're hurtling towards our doom like all these doomsday scenarios? Or is this just ruling through fear, this narrow vibration of fear? I don't understand. I mean, look, I look around the world and I see some truly evil things being perpetrated on mankind by his fellow man. What is wrong with us people? How can we learn to hate each other so much? You know, it's it's just it's so sad to me when I look around and I see the evil money, you know, controlling, making war for profit, and claiming there's not enough resources for everyone. There is. There's not enough room for everyone. There is. That the, the global warming is all our fault. Well, it is, because they're making it that way, you know? I mean, I'm watching myself suffer. I'm, like, listening to these people say horrible things in my head and trying to get me to kill myself or at least hate them or, you know? And I'm watching myself deteriorate and age prematurely. and You know, it's so sad. And it's just... Oh, I get these terrible <laughs> pains in my head. Like, they like to, like, it feels like somebody's jamming a pencil behind my eye and through my brain. Um, gee, maybe I should have that looked at. Uh, I, um, <laughs> I can't even imagine what, what these years of more gallons and electromagnetic, uh, torture have done to me. Let me see. Oh, it's hard to see in that light. I look awful. Isn't it wonderful when you, like, find the light where you look just truly 
awful. Frankensteinianly awful. There we go. Now you can see that I was once a sensitive, <laughs> caring, kind. I mean, look at these eyes, man. Look what they've done to me. I got this one big eye and this one little eye. Da -da -da -da. Wow. That's okay. I know that I'm still a beautiful human being inside. And I know that I love humanity. I really do. We're a beautiful species and I just hope and pray that we're able to not destroy ourselves in foolish greed and evil control and ruling apocalyptic yuckiness. It's just, it's a waste, you know? It's what I tell these, these evil watchers over and over. It's such a waste. I was a beautiful, beautiful human being. I was talented, you know? I ran a recording studio. I, I was a musician, an engineer, and, uh, you know, I could have done anything. I could have been all kinds of scientific whatever if somebody had just waved their magic wand and said, yeah, he's okay. But instead, they waved their magic wand and said, we're going to use him for human experimentation. We're going to make sure this man never achieves his goals, no matter what they are. And uh, they've done a pretty good job of that. You know, they've tortured not only my, my body, but my mind, my spirit and you know they're mapping my my neural processes mapping my brain uh, so that they can run simulations and and use uh, not just mine but every targeted individual has this remote neural interconnectivity is being brain mapped and they're going to use this technology they're going to use this information to further control humanity you know, once they understand how individuals think and what drives them and what causes the decision-making processes and, you know, how to control their emotions and, and what their memories do and, and the whole thing. And imagine the children, imagine the individuals that are going to grow up born with more gallons already in them and those nano, biosensor, electromagnetic, uh, connectivity channeling parts already built into their system and that inner voice that they have is going to be theirs and and the controllers you know the, the singularity artificial intelligence and it's going to be telling them what to think and telling them what to do programming them in Pavlovian style to make the perfect whatever you know because uh Genetics aren't really the thing that, that controls us. Genetics can be controlled. Epi, epigenetics. Genetics can be controlled through environmental stimulation and uh, other things. And, you know, there's just there's so many secrets they're keeping from the general population. We could be living in the Garden of Eden. We could be living in a world of plenty where everyone has value, where everyone has meaningful meaningful things to do, meaningful work, where everyone can achieve their goals, where everyone can have a happy place to live, a safe environment, where we can all work together with a great sense of community, and the great oneness of humanity, you know, making this earth a place, a paradise for everyone, for all species, you know, instead of killing them off and, and raping the planet. And, and and killing off humanity for evil goals. I, I, it's so hard for me to fathom. Uh, I, I pray on this. You know, I, I... Anyway, thank you for your time. I hope I get to talk to you again soon. God bless y'all. Good night.